Hey, what's up, guys? JG Reptiles here. This is just going to be a video on a uh, reptile update. So, as you can see, my lizards are in. Lizards and turtles are in a new spot in my room. They're over here now. They used to be over there. But uh, I moved them over here, so. Right next to my bed, but. So, that's them. Uh, before I start off this video. I want to give a shout out to Carlito Way Pranks. It's probably one of the funniest YouTube channels on on the what on the internet. So go check that out. I if you guys don't laugh on that stuff, I don't know what you think's funny to you, but that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Uh, they have three videos up right now, and they'll be posting more. So check that out. Link will be in the description. So now I'll start off the um reptile update. So wake up guys. Um my uh hypo bearded dragon sent uh coconut and my fire tiger bearded dragon cinnamon. There you can't see them but it's pretty late, so they wanna go to sleep. But they still have the same setup, power sun, log, reptile hammock, water bowl, food dish, uh, half log hide, and three rocks over there to keep the log up. And then they're just on paper towel. So that's it. And um, I'm going to be probably getting like a 50 or like 60 gallon tank stand because when I get my new pet slash pets at the reptile expo in White Plains. I'm gonna need more room so I'm probably gonna get a stand that fits like from this wall to that wall and maybe I could fit like 320 gallons under it so we'll, we'll see what happens but the vision cages I ordered were way too big so I had to s I'm selling them on Craigslist but I'm not going to be shipping them. It, they're only for pickup. If you're interested in picking them up from my house, you can message me or a comment. So, um, yeah, that's them. Coconut, cinnamon. They got much bigger when they were over my cousin's house for the summer because I was on vacation. That's why my videos haven't been that much about my reptiles. They've been on, like, herping and stuff, but I try to keep you guys entertained even when I don't have my reptiles so yeah that's them they're doing good um on to my next reptile um it's a razorback moss turtle spike that's his name I've had that name since I got him uh, he got much bigger I don't know if you could tell but he gained 20 grams because in like two months because when I left for Florida and all that stuff. Um, he was 60 something and now he's 80 something, so it's pretty good. Holy crap! There's a pleco half out of the water there. That's pretty insane. I hope it's still alive. I don't know, I think it's dead. God damn it. Alright, so I need to take that out of the tank. So I guess now I only have one pleco, which is right there. So I need to get another one of those. I had that for like a week, but it just died now, so. Uh, that's him. Reaching back from this turtle to spike. I'm not sure if it's a male or a female, so don't ask me, but I want to get it sex somewhere or sometime, so. I'm gonna try to get it sexed, but let's just go over the tank. Power some, like 100 watt or something like that. Um, plant, uh, river rocks, reptile, basking platform, a filter, new filter I got. 
then just some feeding tongues there and another plant and a moss ball. Pretty awesome. And then my turtle, which is, I love these turtles. I don't know why people get redder sliders and stuff like that. I've had those before and these are like the coolest turtles I have. So, and I just have like 20 rosies or like 15 rosies there. And then the pleco. So I'm gonna probably be getting some algae eaters and I saw these like leopard catfish that look pretty cool and they stay pretty small so I'll probably get some of those. So yeah, that's, it's 10 gallons so um, that's it. On to my next reptile. So I'll show you guys my new leopard gecko that I got on um, Tuesday. So show you him. Uh, let's just go over what uh, its caging is in. It's in a, it's equivalent to like a 10 gallons like footing area. Like it has the same floor space as a 10 gallon, but it's like really short because it has to fit on top of my 20 gallon. And that's why I have them in this because I can't keep them together at all times because that's not healthy for the females. But I'm going to be breeding it to my um, after, so I'll show you him. So let me just go over the tank before I show you him. Cool hide, water bowl, food dish with some mealworms. And he's not eating, so if you guys could tell me how to make him eat, um, please tell me because I really love this gecko and... I need it to start off my breeding and everything because I really want to get into it and I'm not just doing it for the money I just want to do it for like the love of reptiles but I still need to get money because I'm a teenager and I just need to buy like a car for myself and stuff so don't ever think I'm doing it for the money I'm doing it for the love of my reptiles but he calmed down pretty good um, he's a ruby eyed Ruby-eyed, tangerine, jungle, albino, head after leopard gecko. Let me try to show you his eyes. Come on, focus. One second. I'm using my iPhone, so. There we go. There's his eyes. They're awesome. I love this gecko. It's probably one of my coolest geckos I have. So look at the rat after female. <laughs> Trying to get at my after male. I mean my new male. That's pretty funny. Alright, let me put him back. And then I just have a heat pad for his heat source. So, tell me if you know how to get him to um, eat when it's a new gecko that you got in the mail. So, let me just go over my Cresta gecko. Um, a 12 by 12 by 18 zoom in naturalistic terrarium, a 75 watt bulb, a daytime bulb, three plants, my gecko's right here, doing great, and it was, turned out not to be gravid, so, that kind of let me down, but let me just try to get a better shot. And I found out she was a flame, not a harlequin, so she's a flame. But I need a name for her, so if you could tell me a name for her, um, I would really, that would be really helpful for me. And uh, just the same setup, vine, three plants, and a uh, hide, and that's pretty much it. And she's getting... Um, uh, just crest a gecko diet every night. And also, I got these, um, new crest a gecko diet thing. So, like, I'm trying to wean her onto it by putting it in her crest a gecko diet, and she's been eating some of it, so that's good. So, here's my two leopard geckos. My after female here, super hypotendrian, caratail baldy, looking at my turtle tank, because she... It looks like she wants to eat the fish. It's pretty funny, but... So, yeah. Water bowl, food dish, gecko, on paper towel, and a hot hide. I switched it out when they're in shed, so... 
yeah, that's pretty much it. She's gonna be breeding with my after female, my my new male. Sorry. Um, let me just tell you their names. This is um, Killer. That's Blitz. They get along together good, and that's pretty much it. So. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you his name. His name is Chucker. I like that name for him. So. It's a pretty cool name, so I'm just going to call him that. So, yeah, that's pretty much the update on the reptile, guys. Um, I'm just going to be telling you what I'm going to be getting at the July, I mean the September Reptile Expo in White Plains. I think it's on the 11th, but I'm not sure. I'm going to be getting a 2011, 2011 captive bred male Brazilian rainbow boa. Probably from BHB if they're there, because that's... That's where I want to get it from, but if they're not there, I'm going to have to find somewhere else. And I'm going to be getting a leopard get uh, crested gecko male. And I'm gonna, what else am I going to be getting? I'm going to be getting a few doobie roaches to start off my doobie roach colony because it's it just makes more sense to breed your own roaches because they're healthier than uh, mealworms and crickets so I'm just gonna do that and then maybe I'll sell some of those on my website too because a lot of people want to start breeding them now because it just makes sense to so yeah that's it guys make sure to check out Carlito Way Pranks awesome channel and I'm gonna go turn all their lights off and spray them down and give them food so, yeah, that's it, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and tell me how to um, get my new leopard gecko to eat. All right, peace.